The official reveal of Ladybug's new look in the upcoming sixth season of Miraculous Ladybug has just been released. This gives us a glimpse of Marinette's everyday appearance and her superhero alter ego, Ladybug. Additionally, there are more exciting updates in store for the new season, including the release of an official synopsis that provides us a sneak peek into what awaits us in season six. While the official trailer may not divulge too many crucial details about the season, it's clear that Ladybug and Cat Noir are about to face a formidable, mysterious, and perilous adversary lurking in their midst. If you've followed the show through its fifth season, you'll recognize this adversary as Lila, who has managed to pilfer the butterfly Miraculous. Now, she's set to assume the role of the show's primary antagonist, all while undercover at Marinette's school, masquerading as Iris. The synopsis hints at a significant portion of the upcoming season revolving around the hero's relentless pursuit to unveil the true identity of this enigmatic new foe. Iris might inadvertently drop hints about her real identity and plans, possibly sparking the curiosity of some of her schoolmates, who might band together to investigate the mysterious newcomer. Whether they'll succeed in discovering the truth by the season's end remains uncertain, especially given Lila's knack for deception and intelligence, which far surpasses that of previous adversaries. Despite Marinette and Adrian growing closer than ever, their relationship is far from perfect, primarily due to the lingering secrets they keep hiding from one another, such as their hidden roles as Ladybug and Cat Noir. With Gabriel aggressed temporarily out of the picture, new challenges are on the horizon for Adrian and Marinette as they grapple with their unshared identities. While their love continues to flourish, the concealed troops might introduce some complications into their relationship leading to potential conflicts related to their concealed superhero personas. The possibility of these secrets being exposed looms large, and it remains to be seen how this will affect the couple's dynamic. Adrian and Marinette may have to confront the challenge of reconciling their love with their roles as Paris's beloved heroes. As for the synopsis, it does provide some insights into the changes occurring in Paris under Mayor Boucher's leadership. However, it appears that these alterations in the city's landscape will be mentioned occasionally in the series, rather than serving as a central plot point. Furthermore, there's news that the animation graphics will be receiving a facelift, although this will entail a complete overhaul of the existing 3D model base. Instead, the focus is on enhancing the animation's visual quality. This includes refining character designs and addressing issues like the movement of characters' hair, which has faced criticism in the past. These improvements aim to make the animation even more visually appealing and immersive for the audience. In the three concise videos that Jeremy shared, we were offered a sneak peek of the transformed Paris, now adorned with lush greenery and abundant plant life. The ground showcases a smooth play of shadows beneath the swaying leaves, hinting at a fresh square or locale that contrasts with our familiar settings. The color palettes of the neighboring buildings have been imbued with a softer and more realistic tone. Notably, the fountain has received a facelift, featuring a charming little statue of Cupid perched upon a fish, a visually pleasing addition. What's intriguing is the conspicuous absence of the statue that once paid homage to Gabriel in the recreation episode which could indicate that it has yet to be included, given the ongoing process of the animation. In a broader context, these visual alterations transcend mere aesthetic enhancements, imbuing the world of Miraculous with a newfound beauty. These evolutions may well have drawn inspiration from the movie's impressive graphics, renowned for its substantial 3D quality improvements. It appears that the producers have come to recognize the pivotal importance of investing in these visual upgrades. In fact, there has been an announcement regarding the release of multiple partner studios. This reduction in external contributions is aimed at ensuring a more cohesive animation process and averting the prior issue of episodes exhibiting significant disparities in style. Now, let's delve into the intriguing new locale likely a charming flower shop. One thing is clear with Zag's meticulous attention to detail. Nothing is arbitrary. 
the shop's meticulous decoration strongly suggests that it will assume a pivotal role in future developments, potentially serving as a central meeting point or playing a significant narrative role. Furthermore, our attention is drawn to an enigmatic character pedaling her bicycle towards Tom and Sabine's bakery. While she could be easily dismissed as a random animation test character, the precision with which Zag crafts his narrative hints on a more significant role for her. Speculations arise that she might be Lila, donning her new Iris persona. In the Reverser episode, Lila was observed using a bicycle to maneuver, and intriguingly, the cyclist's hairstyle bears a striking resemblance to the wig that Lila employed in her season-ending disguise. Although their attire and bicycle may differ from the previous experiences, it's essential to remember that character designs are evolving in the second phase of the show. The character's choice to park directly in front of the bakery suggests the possibility that she's making deliberate efforts to integrate herself with Marinette, possibly by posing as a friend. This disguise could provide her with a convenient opportunity to approach her nemesis while maintaining the guise of friendship. Now onto the most significant spoiler, the fresh look of Marinette. In the video snippet, we find her taking a well-deserved nap on her balcony with a book shielding her face. It seems as though Marinette is finally affording herself a moment of respite after her numerous heroic exploits, particularly in confronting the monarch. A special note is her casual attire, featuring a pair of pink shorts, black stockings, and a shirt adorned with a butterfly tie print. It's undeniable that this ensemble exudes a more mature and official aura, suggesting a significant evolution in her character's style. For many, this marks a substantial improvement over her previous design, which was often perceived as somewhat juvenile and less refined. What's more, it's not only Marinette's civilian form that has undergone a transformation. Her superhero alter ego Ladybug also receives an exciting update. Previously, I was skeptical about the legitimacy of the new look, as fan-created materials that closely resembled official content had become prevalent. This skepticism, however, was dispelled when the authenticity of the design was confirmed. In the updated version, Ladybug sports longer pigtails, a feature that had been reserved for her enhanced costume. Notably, these pigtails appear to be a more permanent addition. The new costume boasts a series of intricate details, marking a significant departure from her previous outfit. It's high time for this change as her previous attire was deemed rather plain compared to her contemporaries. The new outfit incorporates more prominent areas of black, offering a more striking and dynamic appearance. Additionally, some may observe a noticeable thickness in the texture of the new costume. Most evident along the edges of the circles, where it exhibits a subtle shine. It remains to be seen whether this heightened texture was designed specifically for the promotional poster or will be consistently reflected in the animation. Furthermore, as speculation regarding Cat Noir receiving a new look gains momentum, it has been confirmed that our beloved Adrian will be indeed receiving an upgraded suit, both in his civilian form and as Cat Noir. While the precise nature of these changes remains elusive, there is anticipation that more information will surface very soon. The expectation for Adrian's new look includes slightly longer hair and a more intricately designed costume, possibly featuring green accents that enhance the overall appeal of his suit. Finally, we have news about the release of the sixth season. The good news is that the creators of the show are working on it now. The thing is, they are still in the script writing phase. Another poster said that the season would arrive by the end of 2024, but it is quite possible that the creators of Miraculous need more time to finish everything that they have to do. So it's quite likely that they may postpone the release and only launch it at the end of 2025. I know, I know, that sounds really far away, but don't forget, everyone needs a break. And this means we can build some hype before the next season of the show. Plus, we just had the brand new special Shadybug and Claw Noir, and we can enjoy that episode for a little while, right? 
Okay guys, that's all I know for now, but subscribe to the channel because as soon as more information comes out about the new season, I'll be back to tell you everything, okay? And if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment on what you'd like to see most in the next season of Miraculous. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!